Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. A little uh, mod upgrade today for you. I'm gonna install some 12 volt charging ports into the back of the back area of the trailer. Uh, a little while ago, maybe a week or so ago, I installed a new water pump. And when I installed the water pump, I went for a, a really heavy duty one. It was a, took 12 amps uh, of power. Turned out to be the wrong pump for the job. It was a little too loud. So I, I went back to a smaller pump that didn't need so much amperage. So I was able to use the existing 12 volts to the old pump. But in the meantime, I had run a brand new run of 12 volt power from my distribution panel all the way over to where the pump lives. Now I just have it uh, really doing nothing. So I thought I'd pick up one of these as a, uh, actually has a little voltmeter in it. And then it's got a type C uh, USB and a quick charge 3.0 USB and also your regular uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter charger socket which I do need now because uh, I upgraded my TV antenna and when I did that I lost the existing 12 volt uh, plug that was in the old plate so it's kind of nice to get it back in shape again. What I'm going to do is mount it on this box here. This is a box I made for to hide the water pump. The existing uh, OEM one had kind of a carpeted box I didn't like so I built my own one with a vinyl cover and it has a, a, to a lid that comes on and off and it sits right beside where we sit and watch TV and stuff and then the top is flat so it'll put things on top to charge and also if you know we're sitting on our chair and we need to have something powered by 12 volt to be very convenient for us so this is uh, one I got off Amazon looks like pretty good quality it's kind of a marine one so it is waterproof and it comes with an on off switch at the end here too so I'm just going to have to uh, cut a hole in here, get my uh, multi-tool and I should be able to plunge cut and cut a nice hole to put that in and screw it into the box. Okay, there we go. Not too crooked. Here's the inside. Took a couple pieces that I cut out and just doubled it up here so the screws go through. A couple more uh, pieces of wood makes it really a firm attachment in there. Now I just got to connect these two wires. Thing already has a built-in fuse here, and my uh, this is a 10 amp fuse, and then my other uh, wires are fused 15 amp back at the at the panel that uh, they came from. So let's go hook her up. So here's a closer look at the wiring install. So these two, negative and positive, I had previously ran, like I said, for a pump that eventually didn't work out quite right. So I had the 12 volt run sitting here. Thought I'd utilize it. Um, it's a six gauge run. Um, at the time I thought, well, I might as well put in a nice heavy heavy gauge wire in case I wanted to do something in the future which is this is something but this is only a 10 amp they put a 10 amp fuse in here it's max 10 amp output um, but if I want to add on to it I could uh, this black wire here just goes down around a, a foot and a half and attaches to the frame of the RV the red wire I went and I ran through the underbelly and I attached it to my distribution panel in which there was a couple spare uh, DC outputs. Let me just show you where it's attached. Yeah, and just down here you can see where there's a 15 amp. I used a 15 amp fuse because it's 10 amp, 10 amp at that end. Um, this will protect the wire easily, a 15 amp. And uh, there was a couple spare uh, lugs down here that I could use up to 30 amps even if I want to. There we be. Just have a little bit of uh, foam for sound deadening. And put the top back on and test her out. Looks pretty good. Let's turn her on here. So we can see the voltage read out there. 12.9 volts. Try a few things here. Plug my phone in first. Flip that up. There we 
go. And also I have something I charge a lot on 12 volt. And that's this power box up yep, here. She's working, phone's charging. And this power box is charging as well. 40 watts. There we go. That's going to be a good spot for charging things. And we get a little bit of 12 volt power at the back of the rig that we never had before. Till next time, Ray from Love RV. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, guys.